This week's Throwback to Black goes to a quote from Janelle Monet. Even if it make others uncomfortable, I will love who I am. Throwback to Black, Janelle Monet. Now let's start the motherfucking show. What's good, my people? What up, what up, what up? What is this? Uh, it's Paula's out. Yes, sir. And we back in the building, baby. We are back. Hey, it's Captain Corey Doseki. It's um, something else. Hey, and I'm happy I got that first part right, because believe you me, I'm known to mess that part up. <laughs> What's <Ain't good>? lying. <laughs> yeah. And I've been on vacation, y'all. Yeah. What's good? I missed y'all, man. I really did. I yeah. really did. It was moments uh, from the weekend, I'd be like, mm, definitely going to mention that on the show. You know what I'm saying? So, I didn't. I wasn't even. I was, I was told like, we needed more, um, a pre, I mean, appreciative and more sorrow when we take breaks. So, right. Yeah, I hate that I wasn't uh, more in tune with the show when I was on vacation. Right. This time, I, I really was like, dang, I really missed that sucker. <laughs> Some shit to talk about. Like, this would be a perfect I got time today, cuz. Right. It was a. It was plenty of I got time <laughs> moments. Plenty, <laughs> plenty of times, man. But yeah, man, it's good to be back, bro. It's good to be back. It's good to be back. Yeah, I'm back. welcome back, y'all. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, so go ahead. What you want? How was your weekend, man? Weekend was awesome. Weekend was awesome. You know, what I'm saying I, I joined your fraternal brotherhood. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one six three for the weekend. <laughs> we had a ball. Yeah, it was dope. It was dope. It was it was very good time, man. It's um, it's crazy since your 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 best friend from uh, your, his other best friend's perspectives. You know they um they see him with different eyes and have uh, admiration for you, and uh, just good camaraderie, brotherhood, man. Well, I had a ball. Um. But this, so many years we've been doing this for a while now, and those brothers have become my brothers. So I, I truly enjoy these trips, man. It's, it's therapeutic. It really is. Yeah, yeah. I really had a ball this time. Yeah, great weekend. Um, yeah, it was dope, man. Pulled off another trip. If I, it's our tenth year. Tenth so that year. Was dope. Um, when. DC, DC always shows me love. Uh, um, I had so many flashbacks of DC. Never a dull there. moment. Yeah, never, <laughs> never a dull the moment. We have that it. many personalities combined. Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't get to see my guys all the time, but we, right. it's like when we get together. It's not we we didn't we didn't miss a beat at all. You know, uh, we stay in contact for the most part. Right, even ones that I don't talk to as often. Shit, we we act like we just stopped talking yesterday. Vex, and we see, pick up where we left off. So. It was nothing to pick it right back up. Yeah, man. So it's dope seeing the guys. Dope having a trip. Uh, getting outside. Um, one thing I didn't spend as much money as I thought I was. I that's did a not. Good thing. I really did not. I saved some money. I did all the things I wanted to do. And I look, I was showing out a little bit on some spots. I'm like, yeah. yeah, give me another drink. Yeah. <laughs> like, whoa. He got money. I was talking to Weezy. We, was, we all kept saying, we got to go to another spot. The drink's too expensive. Weezy got the drunk ass lady. Everywhere is expensive. <laughs> Why do we keep moving? Why do we keep moving? And that was fact because everywhere it went, the drinks was expensive. They're expensive. And sometimes the prices go up. The prices go up. Depends on what it's looking like in there. Hey, shout out my baby cousin, uh, Jalen, man. Uh, he became the chauffeur of the trip. Uh, it took us around because... I didn't have to drive, and that's a blessing in itself. Yeah, I didn't get that luxury. Mm-mm. I was behind that goddamn wheel. Oh yeah, he was on it. I was, was so, I was the chauffeur. Yeah, yeah, I was the chauffeur first and the last day. Uh, the other two days, I had a little break. I appreciate it. But all in all, it was great, man. Went to the um, the Commanders uh, Bears game. Uh, I, my condolences to the Bears. Hey man. Hey. 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 Hey, uh, the game was live. It's crazy. Uh, Every, the, the game was so good. Every emotion you could possibly go through, especially as a Bears fan, happened at that game. From under the defeat to the comeback to what the fuck are you doing, bro? Knock the ball down. I mean, it was just, it was action packed. It was emotional. 
I didn't know that many Bears fans was gonna be in DC. The Bears traveled. The Bears traveled. The Bears fans traveled. <laughs> they was, I don't think. Was I don't think. I don't know, but I don't think the game um, gave it justice on TV. It really did. That not. it did. Like it did was watching it live because the game wasn't the most impactful game. It wasn't the most uh, high scoring. The most executed. Right. There's a lot of fucking up. A lot of three and outs. The it got boring. But the crowd was lit. The crowd was super lit. And Randy was like, they're going to let these motherfuckers come back and win. And sure as shit, the Bears came back and took the lead. And the Bears fans were going stupid, talking stupid. noise, oh, talking man. cash money lit. shit. <laughs> lit in I'm lit. talking about <laughs> Jay Daniels snakes stay hard out. Oh, man, bro. Everybody's so like, why would you rush more than just they got, three? They got so loud in that stadium. I'm talking about the Commanders fans show they naked ass. Oh, they dude. was dancing in the parking lot. You know, you was gonna have to fight on the way to the car. It was it was crazy. Yeah. I ain't never seen no shit like that. And never, ever. Yeah. So that was a dope game. That was a dope dope game to come out of retirement. I haven't been to the game in about five years, so I haven't been t- I can't tell you when I went to an NFL game. <laughs> it felt like I've been to one, but this is one I remember as an adult. You know what I'm saying? Man, that shit was good. Great memory. Well, I used to go to him before um, black people still tried to uh, protest. Mm-hmm. For Kaepernick. A bunch of you niggas didn't do it, but I haven't been to the game since then. Right. So, <clears throat> this being my first game since then, it was a dope ass. It's crazy uh, there was to two to. black quarterbacks at that, too. Listen, we in you D.C. You know what I'm saying? I love it. Two black quarterbacks. Yeah. First pick, second pick. I mean, it's a great setup. A dope experience. I'm glad Jay played. He had bad ribs. He yeah. played a hell of a game. He did. It was a great game. I mean, the perspective of being out there versus seeing it on TV, you have no idea how good of a game that was. That was pretty dope. It was, the energy level was high. The sound volume was crazy. It was just a good experience all the way around. Yeah, real cool. Real cool. Um, So many things. <laughs> I'll talk about it later in the show on my let's talk about it. <laughs> but I just had such a good time. Man. Yeah, uh the same uh, shout out to gang and shout out for everybody showed up. Yeah. Um it was dope. I ain't done shit but came back and tried to get back in the swing of things. I'm really trying to get back in sick and I'm still not there yet. Yeah. You know, I'm just not there. I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. <laughs> it just don't feel like I really owe another day in DC and another day of recovery. Right. That's the way I feel like. <laughs> so I don't think I should be back to normal till Thursday or Friday. Honestly. But yeah, it was such a good weekend. It really was. All right, man. So let's knock it out, bro. Anything else you did? Besides that. Oh, yeah. Shit. Uh, that was weekend right there. Okay. It was, that, that was my weekend. Um, shout out to everybody that held my house down while I was gone. You know what I'm saying? Taking trash bands in. Going to give y'all shout outs early. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> you. You know what I'm saying? Thank y'all for looking out for the house. Yeah, I appreciate that. For real, for real. And uh, shout out my parents for having food waiting for me when I got home. Amen. Blessings on blessings. Cause that refrigerator was desolate. <laughs> there was nothing left in that bitch. Yeah, I need to. Um, I need to go grocery shopping. Man. I've eaten like shit the last couple of days. <laughs> Look, I'm just I eat fast food for the first time in a long time tonight, and I was just like, hmm, I see why I've stayed away. But yeah, let's get into it. All right, fuck all that. Um, R.I.P.s? R.I.P.s. Major, major R.I.P. to DJ Clark Kent. Uh, legendary DJ who, um, quote unquote, believed in Jay Z when, when every record label did not, has passed away from a colon cancer at the age of 58. And that's crazy. Crazy. That's crazy, man. Crazy. Um, I mean, DJ Clark Kent is a staple. You know this name in hip hop. I mean, when you talk about ad libs versus, you heard everybody's gonna shout Clark Kent in this thing. I mean, come on, man. Yeah, I didn't see that one coming, man. My condolences to the family. That's a Deepest. big hit to the hip hop world. Yes, Fifty Eight is way too young. Way um, too young. Yeah, that's just tough one right there, man. Major contributions hard. to the game. 
I mean, helped so many people out in their careers. Really did. Major producer. Um, R.I.P. R.I.P. Man. Um, my R.I.P. goes to Thelma Mothershed, where the eldest of the Little Rock Nine passed mm. away uh, last Saturday. R.I.P. Um, Little Rock Nine made uh, national news for being integrated in Central High School. Did you go to Central? I did the best school. Well, you went to Central, right? Yes, the best. Okay, so yes, um, Central Nine Nine. Okay, uh, you know Nine Nine. nine, nine. I ain't know it went back that far. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you gotta roll that roller decks back a little further. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go around a few times. We get there. You know, you try to register for some shit. They say oh, date of birth down. Boy, be feeling like you playing a lot on so they roll that wheel like it's uh, motherfucking Price is Right. They be like, that wheel still be rolling. They be like 2000. I got some ways to go. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I have a long way to go. I don't think you should be on this app, sir. If you have to keep scrolling this far. Yeah. Um, but the uh, the elders of the Little Rock Nine uh, passed away. Um, salute to you for your bravery, yes. um, breaking barriers, and um, you know doing things that's never been done in the city of Little Rock. Facts and you and really other states changed around. Lives. You changed the whole outlook of of um, the school system and segregation at the time. At the time, you um, you you were. The main reason Jerry Jones, Jerry right, no Jerry Jones, Jones is out there screaming at you, and you still came out there and did the big thing. I mean, the bravery of all—they was children, children, babies, yeah, babies. Can you imagine walking that many angry white folks cussing you, calling you everything but a child of God? And this is the reason why they try to um, whitewash and, and, and boycott certain type of history because yes. you're going to you're going to see your grandpa in these, in these documentaries and these in these he books. right there you're going to see jerry jones in these he videos right there i can see you that's you you know that's you right yeah in, in the best color purple voice it's who you do right by me yeah so. all your grandkids gonna see your angry racist ass you're gonna see your grandma out there throwing shit at these at these children facts so yeah, you wonder why they're trying to take it out of, out of history. They don't want that because it's not too far removed. Because she just passed it's away. It's not just far away. It's she just thirty years ago. Away. Fort, fifty max. Fifty yeah. as far as like you know, I forget how old I am sometimes. But fifty to sixty years since it all is right there. She was a child. I saw a meme says when I say last year, I'm talking 2019. You know, what I said my meme is is, is late. You know what I'm <laughs> I, know I said oh, last year. This shit just happened last year. When I say last year, because I every, stopped counting 2000. Everything, <laughs> everything since COVID doesn't count. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. It's bro. done. Everything still runs off of 2019. It's like that dude's playing college football at the age of 28. You know, what I'm saying hey, I stopped aging in 2000. It's done. I get all my years. 2000 was your year? No, nah, mine was probably further back. Oh, you had, you had better years than 2000? No, no, no. I'm just talking about the year I actually acknowledge and remember. <laughs> you know, some people, they don't evolve out their best years. You like really some don't. people still dress. They get stuck Like there. they in the 70s. Somebody still dressed like they in the 90s, you know. I thought, I thought 2000 was your year. No, no, I'm, I oh, dress okay. more of like a football coach in any year. You know what I'm saying? I keep the same uh, Peter Griffin fits on all the time. He said a football coach. You know what I'm saying? He going to see me with the hoodie, the sweats, <laughs> and the shirt. Hey, it's the same thing. I heard that. It's so comfortable. This is probably the most clothes I actually had to wear this weekend. I actually had to put jeans on a long time. That many pairs back to back. I wouldn't. I wouldn't tell the people that. Hey man, I stay home. Okay. I like being at home. It's peaceful. All right. And the geriatric podcast goes. <laughs> Shit. All hey, right. give me my motherfucking Emmy. <laughs> All right. What else we got? Uh, one time for the tribe called Quest. Hey. Being inducted to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Dave Chappelle intro was dope. Um. Yeah, and it's and it's a little controversy. A lot of people, I can't say a lot of people. Some people are saying there should be some other acts before a trial card quest, but I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> um, and I all the love that that I've seen across uh, socials with uh, the tribe and with Q Tip and just what they've done for the culture and um, they deserve it, man. They deserve. They deserve it, it man. At a time where uh, there were too not, many not, groups, right, like that. So. 
to be inducted, man, major accomplishments. I don't right. give a fuck what nobody say. And now, now, then when? Right. Might as well give it to them. Give them their flowers while they're alive. I hate everybody giving these old ass flowers and shit. Give them while they're still alive and moving and shit. Yeah, don't do it. They still you, spitting right now. You feel Yo. some type of way. Right. Cause now, now you give me a, a regret award. I don't want this bullshit. I want that bitch while I'm young and vibrant. Man, give me my award where I can stun on y'all hoes. Stun on you bitches. Yeah. <laughs> I have the most gifted comedian of all time come out and introduce. Give me my flowers where I actually give a fuck. Like I can look at motherfuckers. Like I told you shit was gonna work out. I told you was gonna kill this shit. Who would have thunk it? Right. So congratulations. One time for the trial call question. You gotta say the whole thing. You gotta say the whole thing. Yeah, you gotta say the whole <laughs> Shout thing. out Bulldogs. <laughs> they would have a field day right about now in this era. They really would. <laughs> Are you got any positive stories? I have none. All right, on. I'm sorry. I don't. Except, you know, since some real niggas landed on DC this weekend, last weekend they had a ball. You know what I'm saying? Everybody came home safe and healthy. Yeah. That's my positive story right there. Amen. <laughs> hey, man. Let's get into this shit, though, then. Grammy winning a rapper, Lil Dirk, is charged in murder for hire conspiracy. The way you call that a Grammy award with it? Rapper. Grammy. That's how you gonna introduce this shit? Yeah, I just took I just took the AP headlines oh, and went okay, with okay. theirs. Go ahead, go ahead. That's how the AP introduced let me, it. Let me let you cook, my friend. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Grammy Award winning rapper yeah. Lil Dirk has been arrested in Florida on federal charges that he paid for the attempted 2022 revenge killing of rapper Quayle Rondo at a Los Angeles gas station, a shooting that resulted in the death of Rondo's cousin. Dirk, 32, is charged with a conspiracy to commit murder for hire and the slaying of Severus Robinson, 24, who was gunned down on August 19, 2022, according to the FBI affidavit. Now, the reason why they called him, <laughs> one of his family members from only the family, otherwise known as OTF, uh, apparently has turned state informant. And Confessed to the deeds of little uh, little Dirk. The little nigga was wearing a wire, over, multiple over, times over a year. Multiple times wearing a wire. Had his motherfucker on tape. Only the family member. So, um, it's a lot to unpack with little Dirk getting. There's a whole lot because he's been bragging about getting niggas killed and killing niggas for a while now. I mean that's one of the, that's one of the the um that's one of my biggest concern with this uh this drill rap. Yes. Because these little niggas will put the shit on tape. They literally will put everything they did on the tape. And it's not like it's the, some shit you'll make up. They act, these things actually occur. They give dates and times. It was cold outside. I'm like, whoa, wait. And sir. it's good. I mean, it, to to make sure that your drill sound authentic, it has to have some type of, you know, uh, relevancy to it. He didn't just come out. He ain't watched that many spy novels. And so to be caught up in the shit, I think it's. I'm listen. I'm not a fan of the drill. I don't. I don't need nobody doing anything and putting in a rap song that affect anybody in that type of way. If you feel like you that bold to put your, to snitching yourself, you right. crazy, crazy. Uh, but I think Lil Durk is, was too successful to be caught up in some shit like that. Got way too big. But you know, you, too. if you gotta, you if you trying to revenge your boy, mm -hmm. you know that's the type of life you coming from. Mm -hmm. I don't condone it, but I understand. I don't condone it. I understand, I and I'm I'm kind of more, even more pissed because you come from it, and you you know you you didn't you didn't do it right. It's just. You know, I how you supposed to do it? Well, I'm just saying. You, okay, <laughs> you need to handle your business properly. You, you, you was too loose with the things. Not that you should do it or get away with not condoning no violence, but if you gonna do it, do it right. You know, it's crazy. Yeah, so I just fucked up that your people turned on you. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, the only death your of, family. The death of uh, Vine was was one of those things that. It kind of shocked the drill scene, but you know who Dirk wasn't as big as he was back in in 2019 as he no, is no, now. Was right. 
So I guess revenge was on his mind. Them young motherfuckers were outside wilding. Right. He had a couple of dollars on him. It was just an unfortunate situation to where emotional you know, reaction. You doing you doing songs with J. Cole and shit. You trying to turn your image around, but you know, your your past life catch up with you. Real quick. Which is unfortunate, but you know. Yeah, you come from a certain type of life. Right. It's kind of hard to step away from, especially when somebody, you know, does it to you like that. Once so, you're in that game, you locked in. Yeah, so he was, he was I mean, I think Dirk was turning the corner. He was um, trying to. He, he was, really he was, was trying to. I mean, acting, he was with, he was on, in right. power. He so, was. I mean, people was giving him high praises for, you know, just doing other things besides drill rap. So, you know, I can't always say I was a little Dirk fan. But I appreciate a person who got a hustle to himself. Exactly. They got some great features. But, yeah, that's that's tough. Yeah, so we'll see how it go, man. Um, He's going to jail. Yeah, a lot of people got arrested over that, too. Yes. So, you know how people reacting from these cities. (laughs) Uh, Motherfuckers might, might... it might start some shit. Hey, I'll be careful out there, bro. Be you careful, man. Be careful in these streets. Be careful. It's real. All right, so the Miami Heat um, honored uh, <laughs> superstar, future <laughs> Hall of Famer, <laughs> Dwayne Wade, with a statue in his Miami Heat jersey um, to pay homage to the years and effort he put in at the uh, – at the building, mm-hmm. at they um, work. They unveiled it, and it got a lot of ridicule for the statue. <laughs> now these statues been catching hell. Every time we do a pie, we drop a they drop hey, a statue. Static, you fucking these uh, statues always, up. It's always something with the statues, man. It's like we can't. And really, it's our people that really catch it the worst. I don't know anybody who else is getting statues. I ain't seen no um no other uh, statues being unveiled besides who's the last person, Dirk Nowitzki. Who, who's the last white statue I seen put up? They taking a lot One of the, the white statues player, down. Baseball player, oh, man, you know that some of them statues need to be snatched down. Yeah, so. and they face was still better than Dwayne Wade's. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> that motherfucker from the south in a letter was not in the colonel. His face looked more realistic than Dwayne Wade's. Yeah, it was. Um you know, it got it, it took a lot of backlash. People made a lot of jokes about it, um, but they did show Dwayne Wade a preview in the statue before it was, it was unveiled. You know, so if if he hadn't got if he ain't tripping, I ain't tripping. You know, but if you have some moments of discernment, this is now. I think that you was too honored with the statue and not too uh, concerned with the detail. Ed Reed came out very well. Who? Ed Reed. Oh, came out very well. Okay. Every got a statue? Mm-hmm. Where? No, shit. I don't know. <laughs> shit, I see the picture of it. Oh, shit. And him next to it. <laughs> shit, it's nice. Okay. Um. Yeah, I just think it was a bad um, representation of him. I think it was, an, it was an expression of Dwayne Wade. I don't think it really captured his likeness. Facts. Um, and well, it looked like he was screaming in the camera. You could have said something. It looked like he was in the mummy. <laughs> like he was horrible. There was, was so shit. many memes that was posted out this. And the first thing I I thought of was the, <laughs> was the Wiz. Yo. The Tim, man. And, and I saw that on Twitter. I was like, yeah. I thought of Star Wars when they put the motherfuckers in that graphite shit. <laughs> that brand shit. <laughs> yeah, so. Um, when they put the, uh, the songs holding that loud note. Oh, for each one, I was like, y'all just petty as fuck, bro. They went to that man's wedding. <laughs> That's crazy. So it was a, uh, it wasn't the best representation, in my opinion. And you approved it, so shame yeah, on if, you. If you cool with it, I'm cool with it. Hey, right, th- that's your business. I you want to be remembered better. like that? Yeah, fine. But I think you deserve better. Yeah. It didn't have to. It didn't have to turn out like that. It really didn't. Because they all be they're already on your top of other things. <laughs> now they're gonna add this to your your uh fuel. Ca- the catalog of things they're gonna roast you about. Some good old fuel to the fire. Yeah. That's what's up. All right. Um, how about this? Since we just flew 
uh, this past weekend. Airlines are now legally required to provide automatic refunds for canceled flights. Frustrating days in airports may have not gotten a, may have just gotten a bit easier to deal with. The Transportation Department has announced that the U.S. airlines are now required to give passengers an automatic refund for canceled flights or significantly delayed flights. These refunds are also applied to paid services like Wi-Fi or other entertainments that uh, are provided. I think that's something Biden jumped into, didn't it? Yeah, oh, he was very pissed. Somebody yeah. like he knew got canceled. Yeah, he, he was like enough of this shit. That's one of the initiatives we was like, bro. What happened to student loans? It's, I mean, the flight, the the, well, the, the uh, Republicans killed that shit. Yeah, I'm saying like, all right, we get it. It's the refunds, but nigga, what happened? What you promised us? Because they the Republicans, <laughs> Republicans mad about their flights get canceled too. Like, you know what? I can agree with you on that. One, I can bro. get behind that one. I can get behind this one. Yeah, yeah I need my money back <laughs> on that one. And no one likes being stuck in the airport longer than they need to be. One time for Southwest, man, get me through this airport. One man. time for Southwest because customer um, service immaculate. One one thing that it, it really bothers me when taking these trips is that I need to be back at a certain time. Yes. And nothing worse being delayed and um, giving a runaround. Only person that done me like that is Delta, but, mm. you know, I, we don't, I don't want to talk about that. Mm. Delta did me filthy. Mm. But, uh, yeah, one time for Southwest. One time for Southwest. So far, have not did me wrong. Now that's the wild, wild west, but they ain't gonna do you wrong. They ain't gonna do you wrong, especially if you pay a legs to get that like guarantee shit. Oh, you gonna be good. You gonna be in there. Now next year, I don't know what's gonna happen when they start assigning seats. It's gonna be real ugly out there, real ugly. I kind of like the formula they got. Going. I kind of like it though, man. Get I kind of like live. it. I really do. Get it how you live. On time, a flight ever messed me up. I did one of them travel licenses. It was two different airlines and shit. They was trying to cross flights, paths, and shit. It did not work out. They don't talk to each other. They do not. <laughs> I need one airline. <laughs> I need everybody on the same damn page. Just fuck your connecting flight. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. Shout out. Uh, the government finally doing some good shit. That's what's up. Um, what are we talking about? All right. So, there's a man in California who won a lottery. Okay. Get your money up. He goes by Jerry. Jerry has no last name because he don't want the he don't want them hoes on. Him. Smart man, Jerry. Smart man. Jerry won forty four million in the, in the Powerball. You better hide, Jerry. And uh, Jerry said he ain't got paid yet. Oh no, but Jerry ain't got his money yet. And so Jerry went to um, Channel Four and was like, "Man, listen, California, I won a lottery. I ain't got paid." So they're reaching out to the lottery and they said it takes four to six weeks. Mm. He said, okay, cool. It's been 12 weeks. Damn. And they don't give no um, due date or when you get your money date. He don't. He had to go to the news to talk about how he not gonna get. He ain't words, got paid yet. The words are big lotto, brokey, <laughs> brokey. They ain't got the money to pay him. If I gotta wait that long, if I hit the lottery, I didn't blew all my money. Because I, I know I got some money coming in. Because I done told this job to fuck themselves. But I done told them the SMD. <laughs> Yo. And y'all talking about you ain't got my money? Uh, <laughs> Look. Bro, I didn't spent the bread. I didn't tricked off too much in this bitch and I ain't getting my check yet. Where is my check? Bro, where is my check, dog? They about to start cutting shit me. off. They about to start putting pink slips on shit, bro. I'm about to knock some shit over. Now nobody gonna be getting checks. I didn't promise some bitches some shit. <laughs> Man. Like I gotta pay for this shit. This forty dollars is gonna go a long way. Man, I was gonna put I was gonna get a tip. So literally. I need to listen. So he had to go to the news station, tell them they ain't paid him. They haven't been. They haven't responded to uh, them reaching out and saying we're gonna pay this guy. But he been waiting. Them there twelve weeks 12 is insane weeks. to be waiting for a fucking check from something I know I want, bro. So where the money at? Where the money at, Cali? The, the Cali ain't got it. They ain't got it. The Cali ain't got it. Yeah, they gonna have to raise another tax just to get it. Nah, that should be a way you can sue to get more money back when they don't pay the money in the time they're supposed to have it. 
You should be able to sue us to get uh, even more money on I need the interest that y'all holding the money on. Because you bullshit. Cause I need you. the money, the amount that we, I would have got back from the bank. I need yeah. all the interest back. Yeah, you, you, you're getting the interest money. I went to HBCU. I know how that works. I know what you're doing. You hold on to my check. I know what you're doing over there. I know what you're doing. So you should be able to get that interest on that. Because I could have made, I could, the money I could have received from doing the same shit that you're doing, you hold me back, bro. You hold me all the way back. So. Run me my money. Run me my money, bro. Run me my money. All right. Uh, speaking of money, a GoFundMe uh, was launched for Davis Maturi, a Minneapolis black man that was shot by a white neighbor. Uh, uh, the black man who was shot by the neighbor who has also been racially harassing him for months, according to police documents. He done went and found charges every time this white man got out of line at him. Every time from pulling knives. Uh, cause, and it all started from the uh, Davis wanted to just, hey, man, I need to prune this big-ass tree in front of my house on my property. I need to prove, prune it and, you know, cut it back. He was like, you shoot my, the white boy was like, you shoot my damn tree, I'm going to shoot you. So it took about a year before he managed to start working on this tree to get cut down. Mm-hmm. And that same year, uh, Mr. 54-year-old John Herbert Swashik, uh, while he was uh, Davis was pruning his tree, shot him uh, with a, a shotgun. So he's in the hospital recovering. Uh, he has very significant injuries, including a fractured spine, uh, spine and broken ribs. Uh, yeah, he ain't pepper him up. He with the bucks. He with the buck shots. <laughs> it was shot. no peppering up. He went to the full buckshot. But this is the craziest part of it all. This is the craziest part of it all. <laughs> yeah. So after this man was shot and rushed to the hospital to survive, and everyone told them who shot him, the police response was, yeah, no, nah, we not finna go arrest him because we don't feel safe. That nigga dangerous. That nigga dangerous. Excuse me? That's the alligator man. Excuse the f- <laughs> exactly. That man got an alligator. That he got a real alligator. He said alligator. He do that. got an alligator. He do got an alligator. In <laughs> it's the alligator man. Also. How the hell does MPD tell the whole co- people, including the mayor, yeah, we don't feel safe going in there. He's violent. He's violent. It took, what, 30 hours to actually get this man arrested? So they did finally arrest him? They did finally arrest his ass. It took fucking forever. Because yeah. the police said they did not feel safe. They was concerned about their public safety. Sounds about white. I was like, are you fuck with me right now? Right, the mayor is blaming the city council. The city council is blaming the mayor. All y'all have failed this community. Yeah. Every last one of you sons of bitches have failed this goddamn community on this one. There's no justifiable reason that this even went on as long as it did. Especially after six to seven complaints that this nigga keeps threatening me with an open pistol, open weapon every time. Something should have been done. Yeah. That's and y'all some hoes. Hoes. Full hoes. Y'all some hoes. I'm glad he finally got arrested. Hopefully uh, for the speedy recovery from a guy. Uh, run that number up for the GoFundMe. Um, I don't condone any type of uh, public uh, property damage, but if he arrested, he ain't at the house. He ain't at the house no more. So, yeah. Thank God. Yeah. Mind you, the shooting took place October 23rd. <laughs> Shit. Oh, man. These motherfuckers. That's a tough story. What? Alright, what you got? I'm out of stories, man. That's I ain't got no more bullets in the chamber. <laughs> I understand that. Um, uh, let's double check. I think this might be my last story too. Oh, okay. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Get out this thing on time. I doubt that. <laughs> yeah, that's my last story. Hey man. Hey man. Hey, man. <laughs> yeah, he was finally taken in custody this Monday. So it took a damn week. About five days with the rest of that man. So I hope all the good, sh- horrible shit happens to him. All right, um, let's take a commercial break. Okay. Hey, people, while we're on commercial break, you need to go to our website, 
PowerLunchHour.com. Get you some new merchandise. We have some of the best, most comfortable hoodies going on sale right now. Go check them out. Oh, get you right for the winter. Holla at us. Hey, we're going to take a quick break. Shot. Timmy Barton. We'll be right back. KCCI Barbershop at 1212 Military Road, Suite D, Benton, Arkansas, 72015. Call Chris to book your latest appointment at 501-533-4360. In today's age, it's all about originality, creativity, and customization. Putting your name brand on your merchandise so people know who you are. No one else is better equipped to do that than Kiana Conway with Addicted Crab. You can find her on Facebook and IG. She can do anything from masks, tumblers, domino sets, customized to your liking. Holla at Kiana Conway with Addicted Crab. Find her on Facebook and Instagram. The healthier choice. Helping people see a healthier them one supplement at a time. For all your health and wellness needs, contact The Healthier Choice. CEO and owner Leyland Lambert. Phone number is 501-553-6287. Or you can email them at thehealthierchoice25 at gmail.com. The Healthier Choice. Helping people see a healthier them one supplement at a time. Now let's get back to the show. Act two. Yeah. It's time for movies. TV, music, fix my life. All of that. All of that good shit. All of that. Movies and TV. I did not get to see Abbott Elementary tonight. Okay. But I did see last week's. Okay. Um, the the uh, Ringworm uh, episode. Uh, the mama probably stole the show with one letter. She didn't even show up for the episode. <laughs> At all. At all. But she stole the one, that whole damn uh, show. I'm not the one of the two. Don't send my son home now the three. Come on, man. Right. <laughs> she killed it. <laughs> she said, is this cold? <laughs> Yo, I enjoy Abbott Elementary, man. I really do. I really do. Hope it stays wild around for a long time. Yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this Halloween episode. <laughs> it should be uh, quite hilarious. So when they're doing the crossover one, is I, that it? I don't know yet. No, okay. this not it. I don't think the Halloween is a crossover. Okay, I don't think I don't know. I don't even know when it's coming. I just know our it's sunny in Philadelphia is supposed to be in a crossover of all people to put in this show. So it should be quite hilarious. I mean, it's Philadelphia. It's Philly, and <laughs> they're gonna do something good. I might need to be our next trip. Let's go to Philly. Hmm. Anyway, um, what other TV shows I'm watching? All right, so season two of Lioness has dropped. Uh, I'm locked in. Okay. It's going down. It's actually packed. First episode, bodies is dropping. I'm here for this shit. Zoe doing her motherfucking thing. Yo, um, enjoyed it. Very much so. That's how you open up a motherfucking season right there. <laughs> you know, so you go on a wall. So uh I'm enjoying Lightness. Have you seen any of the episodes of it? I don't even know what you're talking about. No uh time. it's a TV show with uh Zoe Zad down that comes on. Um I don't even know which network it was. I ain't seen it. Yeah. Uh-uh. Uh she's in the military, she's the line and she uh she runs a group called the HRT group. Mm-hmm. And their job is to identify a target and eliminate that target quickly and hard. Get the fuck out of there so no one knows you. Okay. And she run that motherfucking shit pretty damn well. The problem is her personal life. Her husband is raising two they two girls by himself because, you know, she's at work all the time. Mm-hmm. It's like reverse roles in this situation. And he's a very professional, highly educated doctor. But that common sense shit is really not locked in. When it comes to his daughters, it's just really annoying. But, yo, enjoy it. It's a good show. I'm here for it. Season two started off with a bike. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah. Um, other shows, you know, my CBS Rundown, Equalizer, Tracker, Swipe, 
Um, they all going good. All uh, some good background TV shows. Enjoying them very much. I'm trying to think who else am I missing? Missing the TV shows. I know I'm probably missing a movie or two. But uh, I've been on vacation, so forgive me. Been on vacation. I've been on vacation. I tried to write my shit down, but I felt miserable. You have a pen or something. If only it was such a device that it, uh, existed that had yeah, ink in it, and to you can put it. something on paper with it. It's, hey, we should, we should, we should invent that. We should invent it. Maybe call it something like quirky, like you know, what I'm saying yeah. big or something. I don't know. Right, right, right. right. Yeah, yeah, we'll work it out. We'll work it out. We'll work it out. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, what, is, what you been watching? So I watch Abbott. Um, I watched both of the episodes mm-hmm. uh, since we've gone. The latest episode as well. The ringworm was crazy. Um, to go out in a blaze of glory, everybody catching ringworm was crazy. You ever had ringworm? I think so. You had ringworm. Yes, if you had to think yes, about it. You yes, know you had ringworm. Yeah, yeah, I had yeah. ringworm when I was a kid, too. I was a kid, yeah. Crazy work. Crazy work. Um, but It um, does spread. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I just know I had ringworm and a couple of classmates had uh oh. the way they try to shut down the school over it, yeah, I didn't know it was so uh I know it was that bad of a thing. Contagious though. Yeah. Yeah, but a couple of my my classmates had ring I didn't know what it was. Uh until my mother had to go get the ointment for the shit. You had to get that real shit. Yeah, so uh it's um Abbott is dope. Um uh, the last episode was pretty cool. Is it? Uh yeah, I am I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. So you did watch it. I seen that yeah. had the uh they gave her the Easter egg in there. What Easter egg? Uh, from her first skit, they had one of the little kids dressed up as her. So I ain't seen the chip, but I saw it on Twitter. You know, they ruined everything. I must have missed that one then. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. Um, they got new pets for the school, for the classrooms, and it got it got weird after that. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm enjoying the average going hard. I finished um how to die alone. Waste of time. <laughs> Complete waste of time. Mm-hmm. You told me to go back and watch the finished episode. Yeah, like the, it. the Thanksgiving episode. Yeah. What would I go back and watch? Them argue and re- reconcile? Yeah. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> it's just a it's, and you know, I think my biggest hang up is I didn't want to see um what was her, what was her name in Insecure? Tiffany. Tiffany. Tiffany playing that role. She was such yeah. a, a polar role and insecure. Yeah. She could have just kept going with that and yeah. just made her Made character, her own spin off. It made her character just as big as her character was insecure. Why yeah. you got to take two, four or five steps back and 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 um, be such a docile character? Yeah. And it doesn't make sense because you put such a, a presence in, the, in the, the the character you created. Right. Or did you play it? So, so to see her be in such a um, compromising role, it's just like, why? Mm. You don't have to. You don't got to do this to, They're trying to play you in your face, really. Right. Yeah, so I didn't like it for her. Right. Um, I know she did a great She did a great job. I don't want right. to take away. She did a great job as her character. Right. She killed her part as she a character. She killed her part. I don't like the character she's playing. I get it completely It just looks saying. bad. I don't like it. Yeah. I don't like it. You should be bigger than this. You're, you're, I mean... You you're bigger than that. Right. Like why you got to and it's for the whole season? I mean for the first five seasons, episodes, like why you got to look like that? Why? <laughs> yeah, it was terrible. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Piss me off. I finished that shit. <laughs> like why you do my girl like that? Why you do my girl like that? She got arrested at the Like why, why you do my girl why like that? Why you do my girl like that, man? She got into it with her brother and then they reconciled. Like, bro, I get it. You ain't got no fucking leg to stand on to come me about what I do with my wife. Right. Not none. And you stealing from me? And you stole you stealing my whole identity. Bro, you a whole scammer. Completely at this point. Bro, you can't say shit to me. <laughs> anyway, bro. Terrible. Terrible character. Anyway, I hope she get together. All right. I'm not coming for season two. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I'm not here. Tell me how I go. I got you. Um, so what I want to watch is um, Papa's House with the Damon Wayne's and Damon Wayne's Jr. I forgot about that one. My bad. I didn't get a chance to look, uh, watch it. Um, I watched the first episode. You did? I did. Okay. I'm here for it. Okay, go ahead. I, I enjoyed it. Um, it. It's just like what what's you... That, what's that invention we was going to um, create? We gonna uh, come, pen? 
Are we gonna call it a pin? We gotta call it a pin. Okay, that's. I mean, I don't know what that means. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> We'll figure it out. So you know these things they got this little booklet you can type into and keep all your notes. You nah, know you too, you too advanced. <laughs> all right, go ahead. How'd you how'd you like it, bro? I enjoyed it. Okay. You know, it's good to see the Wayne's family back in business again. Uh yeah. not that they got out of the business, but seeing their faces on the screen really just like ah, it brings nostalgia. Because mm-hmm. you know you grew up with this family. Yeah. And then seeing their kids' kids, you know, playing the movies and shit like that, yo. That's dope for shit. Uh, had some good comedy time, and they brought back bloopers at the end of the show. Oh man, that's great. That's awesome, bro. That's it's great. like they keeping the recipes. You keep saying that. What does that mean to me, man? What does that's, that mean? Uh, who was the, a football player who he went off on a whole tangent that that um, people was trying to two bits doing new age shit, mm-hmm. and he kept screaming out, "They losing the recipes from their grandma. They trying this new age shit." Mm. So he went on the tangent about they losing the recipes. Okay. So okay. now when everybody's screaming out, it's like they bringing back old school shit. And you know what I'm saying? So that's what they mean by they said they're keeping the recipes. I got you. Yeah. Got you. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, good stand up skit. Uh, quick TV 30 minute show. Um, it's a, it's a, they're doing skits? Not skits. No, no, no. Okay. It's a sitcom. Okay, it's like yeah, a TV show, right? TV show, yeah. His son you. lives next door to him, mm. and uh, he hosts a radio show. Okay. And they bring in Essence to help him, like, bring back his female followers. Okay. So, um, yeah, cool show. Essence still look good. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm going to catch it. I'm a huge Damon Wayans fan. Yeah. I think he's the funniest Wayans. Um, in fact, out of all of them, I give you that one. Everything that he's touched, I laugh at. So, um, was his movies, his uh, stand ups, his stand ups. Um, I only seen one. It's so funny. But, the son he was talking about in that stand up is in the Papa House with him. So he, it's even he's funnier. doing the show with his son is crazy. That's it's bigger crazy. than LeBron That's full and Bronny, circle. dog. Yes. Like, you know, I think. You know the Bronny LeBron thing was manufactured. This is this is organic. Here. It's organic, Jimmy. The son went on his own tirade and did his shows. He did, did his, his own, own thing, thing. Yeah. and then they they cultivated their talents together. Facts. I didn't just drag you along and be my co-host. I forced you to be my co-host. So. He wanted to be a, a, a actor comedian outside his father on his own right, on so, his own right. Uh, and he does a great job too. He really he does. does a great job. I he, I think he was in. Um, uh, what's the roommate TV show they had? Like five guys and a girl or some shit. You made that up. It was a TV <laughs> show. I used to watch it. Me and Kim used to watch was, that. He was married to a white woman. That was in the uh, they was in the roommates together. Oh, anyway, I figured out two shows. Yeah, if y'all if y'all know the show I'm talking about, they uh, having a bar know. right now. Listen, this blowing the name of the show. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you know the name, let me know. Yeah, but um. Yeah, I think it's dope. I'm a um, huge fan of Damon Wayans, and I'm going to fuck with this show. Facts. I don't care if it's terrible. I'm watching it. Oh, yeah. But Damon had, hasn't mi- missed yet. He locked yet. in. He hasn't missed yet. Yeah. Um, And apparently Forrest came back. Have you watched that? Forrest. Did Forrest with uh, Tommy on Power? Did that come back? Forrest. Yeah. Uh, I thought you said Forrest. Uh, I I used to watch it the first and second season, but I didn't know it came back with a new one. I don't know. I saw it on, on Twitter. I ain't seen and that I ain't, shit. I ain't follow up. In, uh, mm-hmm. I ain't had no advertisement for it. Damn. Yeah, I don't care enough, but I ain't heard nothing from it, though. Yeah. And that's all I watch, man, besides sports. My parlay is trash. Mm. I couldn't gamble in DC because of other uh, logistics. Didn't need to. Um, so, you know, I didn't hit no parlays this week. I heard DC was tripping on the uh, bed. It was a what? Tripping on the bed, blocking all the sites. Oh, really? Haters. Well, yeah. Such is life. All right, so in music news. Music news. I don't know. What's the last time we talked about music? I don't even know where I'm going to start. Uh, where I stop, but where I'm gonna start at is uh, I listened to Alchemist drop the project. We talk about Alchemist, um, Ferraris in the Rain Part Two. We have not. All right, so that's a project he has with uh, Freddie Gibbs and um, Schoolboy Q. Alchemist is just, I mean, putting out so much music is crazy as a producer to be putting out 
music at that high of a tick is I thought, it's not an easy, easy it's not, task. Man. I'm talking about putting out hits. I mean putting out major hits. beats, man. Um shout out to them. Um Radioactive, uh Chop Not Slop. It's the um the screw version of currency and OG Ron C. Uh, I never heard currency chopped and screwed. I'm a huge currency fan. Yes, I wasn't mad. I ain't listened to screw music in a long time. Uh, just check that out. It was pretty That's a dope. Jiffy ride. <laughs> uh, let me see. Tyler, uh, Tyler, the creator, came out with a project. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. I wasn't mad at it. Mm. I wasn't mad, and I know on the recent. Are you a Tyler fan? I am. Okay, I'm a Tyler fan. I wasn't at first. I was not at first, but now I get it. I completely get it, and I see it. Okay. So you see the vision. Yeah, his last two projects was dope. Um, Call me if you get lost was fire. Mm-hmm. Um, I forgot the last one he did with that, but Earthquake is one of my favorite songs he ever put out. Mm. So he was Tyler fan. Okay. This one was different. I know he's trying to be creative and be you know he don't want to be considered as a rapper. I get that. <laughs> I was. I'm trying to evolve. Yeah, he, I'm a musician. I you know, but I'm. I'm I wasn't mad at it. I, w- I didn't fall in love with it when I first listened to it. So I might do it again to see if I uh, change my mind. But first listen to it, I'm like, it's a solid project. It just didn't knock my socks off. <laughs> uh, Zay Tovin. Um, Money Man and Zay Tovin put our project TMZ. Uh, Zay Tovin put some fire beats out. I just don't know the people that's on it, you know. Yeah. So I guess he's trying to introduce some artists or I feel like the old niggas I didn't know who that was. You named that. You know Zaytoven though, the yeah. producer. I know him. It felt like a gangster grills type thing. Okay. And they just trying to uh do a feature album. But I don't know who the artist is and I'll come back to it. So I got a lot of throwbacks I'm run through real quick. Go for it. So I jumped into my Nars Barkley bag. Nars Barkley, mm. if you can, bless us with another project. Please. I really appreciate it. Please. Two dope-ass projects. I, I really would appreciate that. The world needs it right now. We really do. Um, and then that took me down my um, CeeLo Green uh, lane. CeeLo gets busy. Uh, CeeLo Green as Thomas Galloway was pretty dope. Um, the Lady Killer uh, was pretty fire. <laughs> Cilla Green is an amazing artist. Amazing artist. Amazing artist. Freddie Gibbs, Alfredo, because Alchemist, you know. Right. Uh, what else? Um, then I went to my G Unit bag, Bag for Mercy. Oh, I went to G Unit. That's back when 50 and G Unit was really killing the mixtape scene. Really getting along. And then he got on with Get Richard Dottrine, and he kept the niggas on with the uh, Bag for Mercy. Fire ass out, mixtape. Fire ass mixtape. That's back when Young Buck was really rapping and Lloyd Banks was really, 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 really rapping. Um, that took me down to Young Buck, Cashville, Tennessee. Young Buck, I heard that name in a minute. Straight out of Cashville. They didn't do a documentary of the rise and fall of G Unit because it's oh really a tragic story. That they, they fifty did so much for these niggas and they never got over the hump. Never got past. You never got over the hump, man. And it's sad. How you fuck that up? I mean, you got one of the biggest artists in the game. You can't get on. You can't even get a side deal. <laughs> you can't even get a little piece of the paper. So, uh, but Young Buck put out a dope project. Um, Nipsey La- Victory Lap was the last throwback. But it's a lot of knickknack that shit I listened to. Um, but that was my throwbacks. I think I listened to everything else, but fuck all that. <laughs> and when you're in the car, the uh, Bluetooth going, you end up running through a lot of throwbacks. Yeah. So, um, what about yourself, man? What you listen to? Uh, I listened to that, uh, the baby mixtape. The baby got a mixtape? He got a new mixtape out. Really? Uh, shout out Jason to put me on it. Okay. Um, it was cool. My only thing with the baby's tracks is like after the third track, they really do just start sounding alike to me. I guess it's his cadence. Cause you know it's just really saying the same shit to me, okay, over and over. But it's catchy, and you will find yourself bobbing to the bitch in the background. Okay, so but it was cool. I ain't got no beef with it. It just all kind of like ran together for me. Sounded like gotcha. I'm probably saying this motherfucking name the name wrong because I am the old head here. But I try. Bx the plug. Yeah, 
Yeah, I enjoyed it. I, uh, big, first big heard, X. Big X. Yeah. I heard the track 2 a.m. first. Mm-hmm. And then so I went back and listened, listened to uh, the mixtape or the album or whatever. Mm-hmm. And that was straight. I fucks with it. All right. Big X. The, I fucks with it. His album is up there. I enjoyed it better than uh, the Baby album. He put out a fire-ass project. Yeah, that shit was uh, yanking. This is some good shit for the weekend especially. Yanking is crazy. Uh, <laughs> throw me. Uh, uh, Glorilla still in uh rotation. And uh, last but not least, my my favorite throwback that I had to put on repeat. I put them two. I just put two of them on repeat, but this one kept going. The first one was Nas, uh, Major Look remix. Mm-hmm. Cause that shit was hard. But when I played that, I said, you know what? I need to hear. I need to hear that Jada gets who shot you. I heard the album version and the um uh, the um. Uh, Live version from uh, when he, they had the uh, it's the battles. The, oh, the uh, versus versus battles. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to go back and run that shit back, man. It was just good energy. Got me ready for work. <laughs> so, I'm hearing Jada got a project coming, and I think they. I hope they're not bullshitting me, man. It's long overdue. I heard that he got an album coming out, so long overdue. I'm gonna look a little deeper, but hope, hey, come on, hey. <laughs> we here. We waiting for you. We waiting for you. We believe in you. You can do it. <laughs> I never stop believing in you. Never stop believing. Heck yeah. And that was all my uh all I listened to. So Well, you know what time it is. It's time for Fix My Life. <laughs> Dear Power Lunch Hour. Hey. My sister, whom I Dearly love is going through some difficult times. She confides in me about her troubles, and I gladly listen and give advice. Although I'm willing to listen and help, I feel she would really benefit from seeing a therapist to help her overcome some of her challenges. I also know that her decisions are hers to make, and I don't want my perspectives to get between us when I say something she may disagree with. How can I recommend she gets professional help without it sounding like I'm pushing her away and discouraging her from sharing her feelings or thoughts with me? Sign, helpful sister. Um, I mean, if she if they're confiding you and they don't want to, if they don't, if they oppose to getting help, I don't think there's nothing you really can do. Right. You can suggest it. Um. Or be like, yo, this is above me. Right. This is I can't. I don't know what to do with. Couldn't this. be me. Maybe you should get some professional <laughs> help because yeah. I can't help you with this. I can't help you. But I mean, and if they ask you for advice or help, right. they should know what type of person you are. At this point, they should they should be like, yo, they comfortable with your response. If your response is you need professional help, right? Because I can't help you with that. They should respect that. Or don't ask me. Don't ask me. Don't ask it me. It could be that simple. Yeah, because I don't I don't give bullshit ass responses. <laughs> At all. Yeah, so if you ask me, I'm gonna tell you how I'm I feel. I'm gonna tell you no. And if you don't want to hear it, cool. Don't fucking ask me. Cause you know what I'm about to say. Don't give me the gun. You know what I'm gonna do with it. <laughs> I'm dog, I'm about to air this bitch out. So yeah, I just think if y'all sisters and y'all that tight that they, they can confide in you, yeah. they should know you well enough to know that you ain't Gonna bullshit them. They should know you by now. Right. And if you think you're. You're her sister. Yeah. If you think you, that they need help like that, you should be able to say that. You should. And if it piss them off, then don't ask me then. Don't. Yeah. I don't. I don't bullshit around. I want. You can tell me anything you want me to tell me. I'll listen mm-hmm. to the to the sun come up. Right. When you start asking me how I feel, what I think about it. Now I'm going to get real truthful with you. Now, ass. nigga, the, 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 the whole dynamic change, you know. Right. I'm not going to impose my opinion. Because you're not going to like it. Because you might not it's like it. It's going to end this friendship. And I don't want to end this friendship. Well, or it family. Sh- it shouldn't end the friendship. It shouldn't. But yeah. some people can't take that truth. Yeah. I mean, I just think if you're like, my family knows if you want to ask me a question, I'm going to tell it. <laughs> they and, know you by now. Right. And if they don't want to no. hear it, they're not going to ask. My family pretty much know my ass the same way. Right. Like, don't, don't ask this nigga unless you really want this hard truth. Exactly. So, like, hey. I just think that if they are at this point where y'all sisters and y'all close, mm-hmm. it be a, it should be something you can say 
without it seem like you're being a, a bitch about right. it. Right, especially if she's been coming to you for a while. Like, girl, advice I'm giving you not working. You need some help. <laughs> this shit beyond me. Yeah, I think we all need therapy. Maybe you Therapy's seek, very good. You should seek therapy, and you know maybe I should too. Yeah, but I ma- can't help you with this. I can't help you with this. We can go together if it make you feel comfortable. But I can't help you with this one. Yeah, you have to do the big thing. Get help. <laughs> Get her some help. Don't feel ashamed about telling her that she need help. Yeah, I think you know yeah. you should be able to say that. You should be able to say that. You, you have so you've been listening to her this long, girl. You need some help. Real talk. Tell her. Don't be ashamed. And that's all the letter I got today. Okay. Yeah. Hey, guys, if you would like to write in, it's powerlunchhour at gmail.com. We'd be happy to hear from you. Uh, and read your letter online. Hey, let us help you. All right, let's take a quick commercial break. While we're on break, don't forget to go shop for merchandise at powerlunchhour.com. We'll be right back. Shot to be bartending. KCCI Barbershop at 1212 Military Road, Suite D, Benton, Arkansas, 72015. Call Chris to book your latest appointment at 501-533-4360. In today's age, it's all about originality, creativity, and customization. Putting your name brand on your merchandise so people know who you are. No one else is better equipped to do that than Kiana Conway with Addicted Crab. You can find her on Facebook and IG. She can do anything from masks, tumblers, domino sets, customized to your liking. Holla at Kiana Conway with Addicted Crab. Find her on Facebook and Instagram. The healthier choice. Helping people see a healthier them one supplement at a time. For all your health and wellness needs, contact The Healthier Choice. CEO and owner Leyland Lambert. Phone number is 501-553-6287. Or you can email them at thehealthierchoice25 at gmail.com. The Healthier Choice. Helping people see a healthier them one supplement at a time. Now let's get back to the show. I got time today, cuz. I got time today, cuz. Yeah, I got time, cuz. You know what it is. Yes, sir. It's time to get it off your chest. Let that shit go. Knock all of that shit over. Air that bitch out. <laughs> Don't hold that shit in any longer. Help you sleep better at night. Won't cause constipation, diarrhea. Sleep like a newborn. Hey. I got time today, cuz. You got time for today, cuz. Today I got time, cuz. Learn to tell these other people, mainly these nosy-ass co-workers, especially the paper towels, to mind their own goddamn business. Okay. Find a way to say it respectfully, so we need you to stay employed. But find a way to tell them to mind your business. I was just on a little vacation, a little break it, break it. Now they work. First thing they want to ask me, hey, what you do? Where'd you go? Nowhere. Relaxed at home. Chilled. Right. None of your goddamn business what the fuck I did. Why are you talking to me? Quit being nosy. You just want to see if I can afford to go somewhere. Get the fuck out of my business. <laughs> That's all it is. You just want to be, not, how dare you be able to afford it? What you doing? Where you at? I was like, shut the fuck up. Get out of my business. Right. I was at the water cooler. They asking about, uh, so, what, what kind of work you been doing? He's yeah, keeping you busy a lot. Right. A lot of work. A whole bunch of it. A whole bunch of it. Keep me moving left and right to and fro. Matter of fact, I'm leaving now. I'm finna go in a little bit. Yeah. I was in family. What good for you? Have a good ball. I'm out this bitch. Get the fuck out of my business. Learn to tell these paper towels to stay the fuck out your business. Uh, co-worker mine no longer works with us anymore. Uh, he done moved on. I know where he worked, but guess what? It's none of your business to know where he worked through me. Mm. Because your nosy ass can easily look up online where he working at. Right. You want to see if I know if I'm going to talk to him about it. it. If I'm going to tell it. I don't even know. Last time I delivered a phone. Last time I heard. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Shoot. I think he's, I think he is. I think, well, you know more than me, girl. (laughs) Good luck. Learn to tell these. 
paper napkins to mind they motherfucking business at work stories. And they keep your peace of mind at work. Because all they want to do is be fucking nosy and in your goddamn business to see if you're doing something that they not fucking able to do. That's all it is. Learn to tell these motherfuckers to mind their business. You ain't got to share every detail of your life with these bitches. Learn to shut the fuck up. Just, ha <laughs> ha, mm-hmm, could be me. Have a good day. Move around. Quit telling these motherfuckers too much of your business because that's how y'all asses get set up at work. Swear to God, learn to tell these paper towels and wet napkins to mind their motherfucking business. Mind your business. And that's my I got time today, cuz. Today I got time, cuz. Mind your motherfucking business. Mind your motherfucking business. It's ridiculous. All in my motherfucking space. They even walked over to my my little desk here trying to gossip and talk. I'm good. I'm finna go on and use this bathroom. Y'all have fun. I can mingle over here if you want. I'm out of this bitch. Mm-mm. To know his asses. And that's why I got time today, cuz. For sure, for sure. Well, I got time today, cuz. What you got time for today, cuz? Yeah, I got time, cuz. My time goes to people who uh, allow certain people to um, take advantage of them. Facts. Because they think it's a, a case of loyalty. Mm-hmm. It might be some type of, you feel like you owe somebody. Um, in certain cases, you might, but you gotta you gotta be smart enough to know what situations you can do that in. You gotta know when to hold them, when to fold them. Facts. You gotta stop allowing people that you known or grew up with or was cool with at one point, and reach out and try to pull them up to a certain level where you you know where you was privy to. All right? Because everybody can't go. Everybody can't get there. And then. The whole time you're trying to pull these people to a certain level, you about to throw your back out. You pull them so goddamn hard, you missing the mark on other way, other other areas. And they did wait over there anyway, holding you down on purpose because they really don't want to go. Mm-mm. They, they don't want you to go past. They just don't want you to go for any further. Facts. So as long as you here pulling on me, trying to get me to where you want me to go, you're not progressing. Mm-hmm. So you got to stop allowing certain people to keep you um, stagnant. Keeping you feeling like you ain't doing enough for the hood, right? Feeling like you ain't doing enough for your people, mm-hmm. and now you took your, your your eye off the ball. You, you're not you're missing the mark now, right? Because everybody can't go, everybody and can't everybody want to see you grow. So the whole time you like, yo, I'm trying to do certain things for the people. Look for the ones who looking for those opportunities, because some everybody's not prepared for it, right? They ain't even trained for these moments. They, they not ain't there for the, it. They ain't put themselves in a position to be prepared for these moments. And now you're trying to put them, you're trying to put a, a, a round hole in a square peg. It Thanks. doesn't work like that. At all. So now you you, you stuck, you know, figuring how I'm going to get this motherfucker in his spot. Right. He don't want to go. They don't even want to be participate with you. They just they just want you to to take their time. Crabs in a barrel. In a barrel and and focus on close. them. And like I don't know how to I don't know how ain't no ain't no fucking way that out of hundred people everybody can figure it out but the one person you trying to get to do it I just can't figure it out they hating on me I don't know what's going on it's always the hating on me it's always the hating on me no one ever takes accountability yeah so it, it's certain things that and I talked about this before but you know it always pops up because I see it so often that mm-hmm. you know you you want to be loyal you want to be. Uh, uh, a bridge Right But at the same time Motherfuckers don't want to go For real For real You can lead them to water That don't mean they are gonna drink They don't want to go for real Mm-mm. And then as soon as you stop Trying to drag them Across this ocean Right You ain't real enough oh, You nah, ain't you down can't. You ain't one of us no Right so, <laughs> You ain't been holding me down Yeah so um, Ho said how to jump up the bottle Walk up Boat to walk on water, mm. and when he said it, I, I felt that he was being um, disrespectful to the rock. But but when you when you when you see where he came from and where he got to, sometimes you gotta hop off the boat. You gotta get out that damn boat. I can't. Everybody can't go with me. Hey, look, because this this sink is shipping. Yeah, I got. To, I see what you're saying, but I'm saying you can't. Everybody can't go with you. So <laughs> <The> shipping sink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so stop allowing people to to. Uh, the gate your progress because you're trying to get them in a spot they they're not ready for, right. they didn't prepare for, and they fucking don't really want to do it. Right. So Thanks. you're wasting your time, man. 
You wasting your motherfucking time. If they want to do it, they'll come find you. They'll come find you. Oh God! And when they really ready, they know where to when go they, for help. When they really ready, they know where to go when it's time. As long as you keep carrying their ass on their own. Because why would I? Why would I have to if you always there to doing it for me? Always there to do it, breaking your motherfucking back. Yeah. And know some of these phone calls. Yeah. Be unavailable. Ooh, it's gonna change a lot of dynamics. I swear to God. You know, and everybody, you know, I can't speak on everybody. I'm just saying, you know, certain situations where you get to a point where you can give assistance. Right. And then it's not it's not received well like you oh, should Oh, not have. appreciated at all. It's 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 not it's uh, it should have been more love. More love there. with that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You'll never get another motherfucking morsel of help again. Yeah, you gotta just just see it and just recognize it like, all right, let's move on. Let's move on. I gotta move on. I'm not gonna let you drag my motherfucking spirit down. I gave you a I chance. can't I gave you a chance. Yeah. Nah, I'm moving the fuck on. Yeah, so yeah, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's stick away. Let's stay away from that. Quit carrying that dead weight. It's just the um, it's the mentality we gotta change that. Got to, got yeah, to. That's my motherfucking time. I feel yeah, it. I got time, cuz. Yeah. Like you said, be appreciative when the help was given. Show some love behind that. You know, it just it just seems like a um, a slap in the face. It hurts when people. When they don't, they don't recognize it. You be they like, really don't. Like I think this is what we should be working on. Right. I think this is the move. Mm. And they be like, man, eh, I don't know, bro. I just stuck my neck out for you. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. Because other groups do this, and this is like clockwork. It's it's yeah. it's ingrained in them to do this with their own people. Yes. And then when we do it, it be like you, you you literally have to push a motherfucker you up got a hill. Motherfucker gun to the head, like, bro. Come on, if you just do this, if you just do this, if you just yeah. read the instructions, yeah. just we we offer all of the instructions right there to you. Sometimes it just just do that. Three steps. Yeah. So, yeah, we gotta. You know, gotta do better, man. We gotta see if it ain't happening. Then right. fuck it. We gotta. We can't. We can't harbor on that. We really can't. Yeah. Well, I just gotta see, leave, be, see who, who, see you who fool you are. Because mm-hmm. it, you ain't changing. It's, it is what it is. It is what it is. That's what's up. Uh, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Uh, you can go ahead. Cause um, so my let's talk about it came from the intraweb. Mm. Um, and I, I, I had a guy named down in my notes, but he was asking a question. He was saying, forget, uh, verses and, and, and bars that you can recite. What album do you know? Front to back, no skips, word for word, verbatim, word for word, verbatim. And and you know me as I, I listen to a lot of music, mm-hmm. and I know a lot of lyrics, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I know a lot of I know a lot of album front to back because I listen to them like that. I listen right. to them in a row. I know the skits. I love the 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 setup of albums. So there's a lot of albums I I can mention that I know from front to back, but um, the ones I just know from like I can I can. Do this shit in my sleep. All right. Is uh DMX, Dark and Hell is Hot. Okay. Okay. Flesh My Flesh. I can sit that a double album. <laughs> but both of them albums, I mean, I know the skits, I know the pauses, I know the breaks. Yeah. Both of them albums. Uh the locks, we are the streets. Okay. The skits, the breaks, the the even the the small little uh hesitations and shit like that. I know all them. Uh Aquimini. Outcast. Mm, that's a good one. I know that one. I know every That's part of my family. One. Yep, yep. Um, I'm going to say Lauren Hill. Miss Education Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill. I definitely. I know that one but, for sure verbatim front to back. Oh. Uh, but you know I'm LeBron James with my lyrics. So. You're very much so. <laughs> very much I know so. the song titles are close to them. Yeah. <laughs> and the thing about it, I don't know song titles. I don't yeah. look at the song titles. I only look at the the the, the track list. I just know what the songs, what the I know song what it says, says to me. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
I mean, there's several albums I can mention. Yeah, man. Machiavelli is one for me. Because uh, back when you first got that uh, CD player Walkman, my mm-hmm. first two CDs I bought was that Machiavelli and Lil' Kim. All right, cool. So I knew both of them front to back. Because the only two I had to play. Oh, and that Boys to Me and Apple. Because <laughs> my mama said, you're going to have to have some R&B in here, too. Have I told you I never listened to a Lil' Kim album before? Yeah. I told you that? Yeah. Okay. Because I, I was... I was, We've been uh, friends for a few years now. <laughs> well, you know, you always talk about Lil' Kim, and I don't know if I ever told you that. I yeah. just let you go for it. No, you, you okay. said it very, Cause I was very listen- val- validly. I was listening to uh, Mary J. Blige the other day, and Lil' Kim jumped in that motherfucker, and I was like, you know, I might have give, give Kim a shot. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. that Mary J. Blige, My Life album, mm. front to back. That's a good one. Yeah. It's a lot of jokes I could throw out there that I know. Oh, word for let's not word. forget UGK. I don't know. I heard you rap UGK one time. I don't know if you know word for word. I mean, you know. Yeah. I think we established some LeBron James lyrics. I'm talking about word for word. Like, if you had a karaoke album, could you karaoke album? Oh, no, nah, probably never. Okay. No, nah, not as much as I smoke. I'm not going to give myself that one. <laughs> yeah. So, um,. Uh, West Side Connection. Mm, I couldn't. Yeah, bow down. I know every word to that. Wow. Yeah, that, but I had that on CD when I first got my my portable. I remember getting to watch that music video for the first time back in uh, school when they had the little TV ones and shit. You yeah. could watch the classroom that bow down came out. Like, oh shit, they all came together. It's going down. West Coast take it over. Yeah, TV one where I found out Easy died. Man, that was tough. Man, it's tough. Tough. Um. So yeah. So name an album you you can verbatim, word for word, yeah. front to back, no skips. Can recite. I got a bunch in my catalog that I can, but yeah. And just put it in the comments. Put what, in the what, comments. What, what, what kind of yeah. what, what songs you can you can you recite? Whatever app you use, put you, it in the comments. You know who's me. great at um sleepy <laughs> verbatim. When I say verbatim. Rain Man. Right there. Rain Man. Knows every fucking lyric. Every fucking word. And I'm talking about over decades of music. Yeah. Locked in. Yeah. Every word. Boy, locked in. We in should do, uh, we should do, uh, what's that thing, uh, the game on the Wii we should play? Rap Star. Rap Star. We do, the, uh, we do Rock Band. It was like rap band. Right. We used to rap over the beats. Yeah. It was rap star. It was a rap star? It was a rap star. Yeah. So, yeah. Lee Wright knew all the words. All the words. Just, all you had to do was hand him the mic. Yeah. He, he going to hold down the crew. I'm talking about hip hop, funk, goddamn. All right. Uh, he, he knows it all. Yeah. Soul. Yeah. Gangsta rap. Him and uh, Dre. Dre kind of rain man with lyrics too. Dre, your brother Dre? Yeah. I ain't never heard this nigga rap a song. Oh my God, this dude knows everything. What? Yeah. No, I'll let him. Oh, man. Uh, Kim does a good job. She knows a lot of. She does. She, she, she she's, knows, she's a choir director. Yeah. She knows a lot of um, Jay Z catalog. Yeah, Biz. Busy. She knows all RBs on lock. All of them. Busy don't do music in public at all. Yeah, so I don't know. Well, she does. Whole foot go in it. Uh, yeah, Jiffy don't know a word or anything. Mm-mm, he just started freestyling. Yeah, but <laughs> it's singing like Kermit the Frog. Yeah. So if you know, if you know album, let us know. Um, yeah. so I can tell you it's trash. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I want to talk about. That's what's up. I'm just piggyback yours. Uh, since we talking about music, man, what's your Give me three albums you gonna have to have on your uh, your flight or your road trip that's just gonna have to have any rotation. Like I need to make sure that's locked in. And right now, uh, currently, like what's the top three you, you got to keep in rotation for you? Like when you uh, like when I just trip, we just had what's mm-hmm. three albums that you just had in rotation that you know is gonna guarantee bang and get you your neck where you need to go. I don't. I don't know. I already have one. I think the the thing the the albums I like, mm-hmm. I just like. I don't have anything that's now currently now that's I have to listen to. Okay, yeah. Uh, well, I'm saying, what what did you listen to? Like your top three that you listen to, even if it's old. Then I don't know, bro. 
You go first, and I'll I'll, I'll, let, I'll, I'll come back around to this. One. I don't that, know. <laughs> I had that UGK, of course, that Dirty Money. Mm-hmm. I had that. Uh, I felt like an R and B spirit, so I had that Mary J. Blige, My Life, and then I uh, circled back with the Killer Mike album, the deluxe one. You can put Mary J. Blige in your your cipher every time. That's what I've listened to this recently. That was in my cuts. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She pretty much gets some good rotation in there. And of course, Anderson Pop. Been on R. Them, them my, my two right now. The artist or just the, as a, a project. The, the project, the Malibu project. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. So, would I would I can play every time without you know getting sick of his equipment? I, um. Killer Mike is definitely going to be in rotation for a long time. I probably listen to to Pippa Butterfly like probably once a month. <laughs> That's just what's up. just to listen to it, and I'm still finding shit in that in that album. You gonna keep finding something new in uh, Kendrick's music. I'm looking forward to the Super Bowl show. I know he's gonna tear his house down. Yeah. So I don't know. That's probably. I mean, I probably like that I listen to, mm-hmm. and I don't really recognize I listen to it all the time. Right. Um, huge Freddie Gibbs fan. Sa-ha. Anything Freddie Gibbs put out, I listen to it. Yeah. So. I don't know. Oh yeah, so I can. I can, I know every word on Sahai. No dope on Sundays. Yeah, every word. Yeah, that's a good one. That's what's up. That's all I got. Ooh. Uh, shit. Shout outs, roses. My roses go out to uh, Natasha. Uh, uh-huh. we stand together. Facts. You know, we stand strong. Whatever you need. I got you. Facts. Um, shout outs go to the squad, go out to the fam, you know, family or everything. So Facts. I had a great time. And I believe that's it. Yeah. Piggyback those, uh, uh dead out for real. And uh shout out to my parents, yo. My roses always go to y'all. I appreciate y'all, man. For real, for real. Love y'all. Uh, shout out Biz, shout out the crew. Uh, great times, man. For real. Shout out Kim. I don't know what she want me to tell y'all. She in London. The fuck? The fuck? The fuck? <laughs> Turn up. She, I wonder why none of my calls went through. Yeah, so hopefully, <laughs> um, you know, she not hiding from nobody, but hey, yeah, she woke was... up one day and just went to fucking London. I'm like, God damn. That's what I'm talking about. Get the fuck out of here. Wait till I get Show rich. yourself. Wait till I get rich, bro. That no, is nothing. We going to be gone all the time. Yeah. So... Safe travels. Enjoy yourself. For real, for real. Turn up. Thank y'all. Anybody else? Oh, and shout out Dre. He in Puerto Rico. Dre's in fucking Puerto Dre's Rico. Dre's in fucking Puerto Rico right I'm now. I'm sick of y'all with my rich friends. <laughs> yeah, rich, 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 rich friends just having the best times. <laughs> I love it, love it. Can't wait to see you this weekend, bro. I'll let your boy. All right, um, that's it for me. Anything else I'm forgetting? That's it. Hey man, we love you guys. We miss you, man. Thank y'all for tuning in and listening to us. Appreciate seeing all you guys out and about. Um, hey man, it's your Captain Corey Dosecki. It's your sugar daddy of something else. Hey, and we out this bitch. We are out. Catch y'all next time. Much love. KCCI Barbershop at 1212 Military Road, Suite D, Benton, Arkansas, 72015. Call Chris to book your latest appointment at 501-533-4360. In today's age, it's all about originality, creativity, and customization. Putting your name brand on your merchandise so people know who you are. No one else is better equipped to do that than Kiana Conway with Addicted Crab. You can find her on Facebook and IG. She can do anything from masks, tumblers, domino sets, customized to your liking. Holla at Kiana Conway with Addicted Crab. Find her on Facebook and Instagram. The healthier choice. Helping people see a healthier them one supplement at a time. For all your health and wellness needs, contact The Healthier Choice. CEO and owner Leyland Lambert. Phone number is 501-553-6287.
or you can email them at thehealthierchoice25 at gmail.com. The Healthier Choice, helping people see a healthier them one supplement at a time.